Hey my loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your charts. Cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around till the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. If you're new here, know that I channel spirit messages throughout the readings. I also like to start with spirit insights, things that I picked up on in meditation. So we're going to hop right into that energy. And I'm feeling very strongly for you, uh, Sagittarius, that during the month of April, moving into May, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, we just came out of the April 8th um, Aries new moon, as well as the total solar, solar eclipse. And on May 23rd, Sagittarius, uh, you're going to have a full moon. Okay, the full moon is going to be in Sagittarius. So it feels like from this point on in April up until about May 26th that you may be feeling these energies and really diving deep into your spirituality, your consciousness, your beliefs, how you want to change your life. It, def it definitely feels like a very reflective time. And also keep in mind that we are in um, Mercury retrograde until April 25th. So this is definitely a time of reflecting, reevaluating your life, um, and being open and receptive to what the universe is trying to open you up to and provide you with. Keep in mind that not all of these messages will resonate with everyone out there, but I do feel an energy of you feeling recharged. And maybe it is because you are tapping into your inner being, which is a beautiful thing. So I'm feeling that for some of you, not all of you, because I am feeling an energy of some of you are feeling a little down and out. But overall, I'm feeling a recharged energy. It's time for you to just take a deep breath and, and cut yourself some slack. Be gentle with yourself right now, Sagittarius. That is very important. That's what your, your, your guides are asking you, to be gentle with yourself, okay? Pay attention to the details. If someone needs to hear that, that message, pay attention to the details, okay? Tap into your inner child because I'm hearing she. She in this could also be he, okay? She's feeling lost, confused, and detached, okay? And the some specific names that came up were Angel, Kathy, Katrina, Patricia, and April, okay? So if you are watching this, this message is for you to tap into your inner child because she's feeling lost, confused, and detached. And some of you, if, even if I didn't say a name, Say your name. This is some of you are feeling this energy right now, feeling a little lost and confused and detached from people and detached from your life, <clears throat> which makes sense. We'll get into um, the chakra that you can work on. And um, like I said, this is when April is going to be a month of soul searching. OK, and as I was pulling your oracles, as you can see, I have a spread for you already just to so that I didn't shuffle on camera which it takes more time I wanted to get this out we will get all of your tarot cards out as well and clarify each of those I wasn't going to take all of these angel numbers that came out for you but I was like Sagittarius you need to hear it right now okay so if you're seeing the number 0404 this is your your angels wanting you to slow down slow down okay Find some balance. Some of you are experiencing power struggles. You're forcing things. You might have violent thoughts. You might be physically violent. Someone could be doing this to you. But there is also an energy of hope. Okay, Authority is here. Connecting with your ancestors. Restlessness that you're feeling. Low vibrations. And then your angels are giving you a warning. And this is the reason why I'm feeling you're going to have to do some soul searching during this time. Pay close attention to the people in your life your surroundings, and your physical health. That's very important. Don't freak out. It's just a warning to be careful and awake to avoid any further issues. So communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries. 0404, that is very important. Then we have 1818. This talks about willpower. So your angels are wanting you to find that willpower so that you can achieve things in life, feel successful, strive and move forward, experience prosperity. We know that you're already go-getters, okay? Find that courage within you. Good luck is on your side. This is significant events are on the card are on the cards for you. You will progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences. The right people and resources will be put on your path. So not, not to worry about that. An excellent proposal or change is coming up. You're destined for greatness. Okay, 1818, if you've been seeing that number. 
Then we also have uh, 1515 is coming out for you. This is the big break. Okay, so if you're seeing this number, it's about innovation, about you finding focus, be getting creative, progressing in life, forward movement, developing your skill set, and achieving your goals. This is an opportunity to help, um, an opportunity to help extra cash or other support is coming your way. So keep going and have fun when performing your task. The most tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. Okay, 15, 15 if you're seeing that. And your last angel number is 20, zero, 02. This is the void. So if you're seeing this number, 20, zero, 02, know that there is a longing that that is lying dormant within you, which is why I'm feeling some of you may be feeling disconnected, detached, or confused from with your inner child being detached. Um, this talks about technology. And for some of you, you are experiencing technology glitches. We're in Mercury retrograde. That is, you know, that is that is reasonable to say, I should say. <laughs> um, but you, this is about focusing on ambition, your genius, forward thinking. Some of you are feeling stressed. You're feeling depressed. You have more control over your life than you realize, Sagittarius. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. Trust me. There are plenty of friends to make. So chill out, have fun, and open up. Go outside, okay? Go outside, all right? So those are your angel numbers. A chakra that you can work on during this time frame. Actually, let me move some of these cards here so that I can reference them later, okay? All right, so a chakra that you can work on during this time is your base chakra. I'm going to read a little bit about this. The base chakra is your root chakra. It is your first chakra that is at the tailbone of your spine. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit on this. This is connected to the material world, physical vitality, survival, instincts, security, grounding, stability, action, perseverance, and foundation. Located at the base of our spine, the base chakra is our primal energy center. This chakra governs our basic survival needs, also known as the tribal chakra. It carries the qualities of our ancestors, culture, and our innate connection with the earth. It encourages us to build structure and foundation in our life to provide us with a sense of security, safety, and stability. Within the realms of the first chakra, Mother Earth is our best teacher. It, that's why Spirit is saying it's time for you to go outside. It's time to step both feet out into the soil of life and feel yourself rooted into the earth like a great tree. Breathe and observe, absorb the power of this primal energy into your body. Watch, sense the feel how nature sense and feel how nature works and align yourself with this wisdom. Remember to be practical and present in life. Tend to your home, your physical needs, and your earthly responsibilities. And I'm also feeling health as well. Many, because uh, this, this chakra is governed by the feet, okay, um, and other organs in the body as well. Many people on the spiritual path have a tendency to feel drawn towards the more ethereal powers of the higher chakras. But if we are not balanced here in the base chakra, these ethereal experiences are not able to be as as accessed and utilized in our life in a productive way. The potential of growth and transformation of our being can only occur if we can integrate this higher realm's wisdom with our physical life here on earth. The ability to live a spiritual life whilst being fully present here in, in earthly reality is the essence of this earth. This card calls for you to channel your inspired thoughts and ideas into practical grounded action within your life. It encourages you to persevere with action to bring about health, vitality, and a general sense of aliveness and a connectedness with the earth. This will strengthen the power of your base chakra, and you will find that with a solid foundation and a sense of healthy of health and vitality, your life will flourish, transform, and evolve. It will naturally change and flow like nature in her cycle of seasons. And some affirmations that you can say for this to open up the chakra is, I am grounded, safe, and secure. I am connected to all of life. My physical needs are abundantly met. The earth supports me. Write down in the comment section below which one resonates most with you. Okay, so the base chakra is the one that you can work on during this time. Crystals that you can uh, work with during this month as well is the ruby. 
Okay, your affirmation here is vital life force flows vibrantly through me. I am grateful for my energetic passion for life. This stone can help you improve physical strength and vitality, which is connected to the base chakra here, which we just discussed. Increase endurance and passion. Activate productivity and self-motivation. It'll help you increase your enthusiasm and overall feeling of well-being. Okay, so you can get your ruby or you can get you a rutilated quartz, whatever resonates with you most. Your affirmation for this stone is, I am grateful that my vital life force provides me with the energy and motivation to live life to the fullest. And mind you, these are cards that just flew out of the deck. And how, 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 how telling are, are all of these connecting to this base chakra? You getting outside, you focusing on your health, you focusing on your inner child. This stone will definitely help you improve your energy levels and increase your life force. Again, just like the ruby here, it'll help you maintain focus, increase feelings of self-empowerment, and it'll also help you am amplify courage and confidence, which is connected to the solar plexus. I was also feeling in meditation for you, Sagittarius. Some of you are need to, needing to speak. I was feeling a little blockage in the throat area. So working on that chakra as well, because it is your birthright and your free will to speak, to express, to communicate um, your truths, okay? One thing you can consider, a message you can consider, your guides and angels are saying, is to surrender to the divine. And this is why I feel like you are going to be doing a level of soul searching during this time, okay, during this month. So it definitely feels like a very powerful and transformative month if that's something that you are into. But at the end of the day, if you don't do it now, <laughs> if you don't do it now, Sagittarius, then you are going to eventually have to do it. So why not? Let's just get it over with. Jump into it while we're in this eclipse season. And things are very powerful and transformative in this time. Okay, we are in the six-month window with the um, eclipse, um, starting with that first one that was on March 25th, uh, partial lunar eclipse, and then we have the total solar eclipse on April 8th. Okay, and we still have a few more months in this energy. I'm going to get all your cards out, and we'll go from there. All right. All right, so your overall energy here. I forgot my ring. Hold on. Your overall energy, I pulled the seven of fire which is your energy. This is about you defending your beliefs and your decisions and standing your ground, okay? And again, the word standing is um, really standing out to me because we talk about your feet, the base chakra, okay? How your, your feet are governed. The base chakra is governed by the feet and, um, like I said, other organs as well. And I'd have to look the, 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 the organs up. But um, standing your ground, Choosing your battles wisely as well, okay? Some of you may be feeling, may feel defensive, may, de may feel defenseless, but I, at the end of the day, I feel like you're standing up for yourself. In a situation with someone, it does not matter how it shows up for you. I feel like you get that, that power during this time as you're really tuning into yourself and really trusting the force, the life force flowing through you, you gain the sense of courage. The number seven here, I'm also feeling a, a sense of connection here. So this is you really doing your work during this time frame and getting connected to yourself and uh, all of the possibilities that show up in your life. I'm going to clarify this seven of fire. We have the Two of Wands coming out, and we have the Five of Pentacles, okay? Spirit says bottom of the deck here, we have the Six of Pentacles. So reciprocity, mutual energy, um, equal give and exchange, uh, that is coming up for you, but we'll, we'll see if we can tie that in. So the Seven of Fire here. So overall energy for this month is you discovering different aspects aspects about yourself and what you need to work on and how you need to move and that 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 who you need to let go because that's that's very important as well because we're feeling that energy of the the void you're longing for something and that's what i'm feeling from this two of wands here like you're learn, longing for something different because you're feeling something different from within 
And this Five of Pentacles is letting me know that, you know, you're feeling lost. Some of you are going back and forth between the light and the dark. Some days you have it figured out. Other days you're feeling lost and confused and feeling like you're left being left behind. I'm also feeling that this is connected to the base chakra as well because this is an energy about survival. Okay, this can show up as finances for some of you as well where you're feeling a lack you're feeling scarcity or that mindset or you're actually experiencing a sense of poverty. But I do feel like there's an energy of you going back and forth. At the end of the day, I feel like your energy is coming through very strongly here with the seven of fire and the two of, of wands. But it lets me know that you're going back and forth. But the seven but seven plus nine, um, seven plus two is nine. And it feels like the end of you wanting to go back and forth, the end of you like creating this or or believe in this narrative that has been your life, please know that your, so, your circumstances do not define you. The things that you have experienced in life thus far, Sagittarius, has put you in this place to be bold, put you in this place to thrive, put you in this place to, to really feel the fire that lies deep within you. Okay, so spirit is really channeling that message so there is a little bit of a back and forth i feel like the back and forth is going to be temporary because you're going to be in this in energy during this time really experiencing the fire the passion the desire within you really creating boundaries for your life as well as, as i look at this seven of fire okay because there has been a lot of challenge you have had to compete with other people some of you have been competing with yourself your physical body versus your spiritual body. Either way, and I also feel my throat trying to close up too, this reminds me of you speaking your truth. I feel a lot of emotion that is coming up like as if you want to cry and some of you are needing to let that out. Let it go, okay? Even if you have to do it by yourself, but if you have someone that you can talk to, that you can get with, that you can trust with your innermost thoughts and feelings, then let that go because I feel that energy coming up because there is a defensiveness that is residing within you and you need to let your guard down, okay? You have the heart of a warrior, Sagittarius, okay? And some of you have experienced a hard fight, whether that has been your whole life or you're currently in this hard fight, feeling confused and detached, okay? You're battling against people against oppression you're feeling bullied you you know it feels like you there's a moment of some of you are feeling like you're weak that you can't get by but you have so much strength so much power okay and you are always very supportive and supporting other people but now it's time to support you it's time to support you Sagittarius and I pull one more card six of um six of cups here so it feels like an energy of you maybe holding on to memories from the past, people from the past that no longer serve you because I feel like you're feeling disconnected and lost from them. There's some sort of distance here. But at the end of the day, you're a warrior, seven of fire here, two of the two of wands as well. You're planning, it's time for you to plan, to discover more things about yourself, leave behind what no longer feels good on the spirit level, okay? You have to push your will into the universe. Explore so that you can see more. It's time for you to conquer new ground and push beyond your limits because some of you have been comfortable with just sitting in what you have been sitting in and it's time for you to push past that, okay? So that's your overall energy. An obstacle or challenge that lies ahead for you during this time is the Six of Wands. Okay, I'm going to pull some clarifiers around that because I like the Six of Wands. That is a good energy and I don't necessarily see that as an obstacle unless some of you are reluctant to be successful, um, resistant to being successful, resistant to winning. Okay, that some of you could be in a victim state. Um, that could be a challenge for you, especially if you have been living a life of victim mentality. And that is not a bad thing. That is no judgment on you, Sagittarius. That is just to say that it is time to create a, a new narrative for your life. Okay. So in clarifying this, we have the three of swords that is coming out reversed as well as the moon. <laughs> Excuse me. So some of you are coming out of an energy of heartbreak coming out of um, or you're, you're in this energy of negative self-talk okay that's what the three of swords is conveying right now is that 
you're in this place, it's hard for you to release pain. It's hard for you to be optimistic during situations where you're feeling sad and you're feeling depressed, detached, and confused. But this is pointing to you needing to, um, you're needing to forgive. You're, you're needing to move on from the things that have left you feeling dark and heavy, whether that be people, situations, memories, um, things from the past. It doesn't matter, okay? So some of you are in this place of um, realizing that you may have a fear of success, a fear of rejection, a fear of failure, a fear of moving on, okay? That's what this feels like because that six of wands is about moving on. We talk, When we talk about success, we think about moving forward. We think about winning. And some of you have been in a, a situation where you feel like you have been losing. And you, have, you are believing this narrative and, and this is just you being in your head, okay? Your circumstances do not define you. So that is an obstacle or challenge for some of you is that negative self-talk coming up. Uh, those things that you have um, sort of put off, now they're being revealed. They're coming to the surface so that you can deal with them, so that you can move on from them. And so this may feel challenging for some of you, having to deal with things and people from the past having to make decisions about things that feel very uncomfortable, but you can do this. If the overall energy here is you mounting a defense and really standing your ground, you're going to be able to move through that obstacle or challenge with ease. This is going to be a big break for you. Okay, so your, your focus is to um, create a, a positive mindset, create a new narrative. What is your new story? It's time to every every angel card that we pulled was all about you moving forward. Okay, so keep that in mind here, Sagittarius. Where you're headed is the hangman. Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards around that. But this is, um, I feel like you have been in a place of sacrificing your happiness, uh, sac sacrificing quite a few things that not didn't necessarily it made you happy temporarily, but now I feel like you're feeling the impact of your sacrifices. Um, so let me let me pull some cards around this before I get get in here. Get in good. We have the Eight of Wands, your energy, and the Five of Swords. So Aquarius, Libra, uh, and Gem or Gemini, your energy in the center of this. So I, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like some of you are moving towards a level of confrontation. Like, and I don't think this is a bad thing because when we pulled that seven of wands, it's about you standing your ground. This makes me feel like you're going to be having conversations. This is, it feels like there may be disagreements that's, that, that are going to come up, but I feel like it's, 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 it's in your favor because I feel like there are things you need to get off your chest. Okay. Things that you have been seeing, Okay, that aren't adding up and aligning with your core, your spirit, you're going to talk about them. So I feel like this is a lot of communication. I feel like it's going to happen when you least expect it. Some of you may be talking to someone over the phone. You may be going back and forth email or text, regardless of what this is, because <clears throat> my throat is trying to close up again. You're going to be talking about something that makes you feel uncomfortable and you may decide to, I'm hearing run away. Don't run away. This is something that you're going to have to face, okay? Whatever this is that is coming up for you. We have the Six of Pentacles that it's, that's coming out for you again, okay? So you want some fairness. You want, um, you want to feel fair, equal in a situation, and maybe you have not been feeling that, and this hangman is here because you've been realizing that you have been sacrificing, you have been in limbo, stagnant, you have been left suspended in air, okay, without the help that you need. But I feel like this time has given you a, <clears throat> this time has, has put you in a position of spiritual enlightenment where you're recognizing things and you're growing. The number eight, if we're also in a universal eight year, is all, all about balance. It's about manifestations, wealth, abundance, about opulence. And I feel like you begin to see that for your life. And you're going to have to remove people and situations that no longer work for you because you deserve this. The Six of Pentacles energy. You deserve prosperity. You, be, you deserve to be given more from people, from situations. You have been giving a lot. It's time for you to receive. You've been generous. It's time for you to be on the receiving end of that. You've been charitable. So 
this is about you wanting to be in the flow and not having to force things. I feel like I picked up something. Um, one of the cards said something about forcing something. Okay. And they may have been, uh, let me see. Yeah, the number 0404, where it's about slowing down. It's talking about forcing things. You've been in a position of forcing things. And so where you're headed is having communication. I mean, talking about things that make you feel uncomfortable, that you're not happy with, so that you can move on and receive what you deserve. People who are on your level, okay? People who are aligned with you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I like this energy because we move from the five to the six. So this lets me know that you talk about things and maybe and there's a change, whether that change is people are becoming in alignment with you or you find other people who um, who are matching your energy. OK, because I, I feel like this could be multiple people, multiple situations in this that you may have to turn your back to in order to have your happiness. And I feel like you already know what this is because you've already been doing the work of self-improvement. And, and trying to surrender and seeing things for what they are, seeing people for who they are, that it's easy for you to have this conversation. When I say easy, there's some ease created around it. It's not necessarily easy because you're not always a confrontational person. But you will stand up for yourself 100%. But you are very loving and supportive. And now you have to almost step outside of your comfort zone to get what you want. Okay. So what's happening in your near future, we have the full. So this is you moving on, a new start for you. Taking a risk and moving off from something that doesn't feel right. Gaining your independence, trusting, surrendering to the divine. Remember, we already pulled that card was a message that you can consider is to surrender to the divine. And this is the full moon energy. We just came out of a new moon, but that full moon is coming up May 23rd in Sagittarius. OK, so this is not time for you to work up from now until May, uh, from now until I'm going to say May 20, May 19th. OK, May 20th. This is a time because, you know, the energy is always potent three days before the day of and three at three days after. But really take advantage of the time from now until May 20th to really allow yourself to surrender to the divine so that you begin to um, make a shift, make a change in your life around that full moon well you'll start to see the things that you have worked through are beginning to pay off you're going to feel different feel lighter and some of you may even feel heavier if you are not working through the issues okay so surrendering to the divine is very important so what's happening in Sagittarius uh, near future stop playing games is what I'm hearing as well the death card and the knight of wands is coming up for you. I'm hearing to trust the process, okay? Some of you are trying to take shortcuts. You, you want to take shortcuts to get to an end goal or to a new start, and you can't. You can't turn your back on the transformation as I'm looking at this here. It's like you want, it, you want a new start, but you also have to confront you also have to confront the issues, surrender to the divine and get to the root issue. Remember, we pulled the base chakra, get to the root issue of some of the things that you have been experiencing in your life, because some of them are patterns as well. You are going to 100 percent. I know this is something that you don't want to hear. You're going to hurt people in the process of your decision-making process. You're going to leave people behind. It's going to feel uncomfortable. And these are people and things, emotions, whatever they are, thoughts that have, I've been feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling ruminating. It's been ruminating, but it's going to, it's painful to leave behind history. It is, but that is history. And you're now creating another story, another narrative for your life. Okay, so... Um, some of you have been experiencing a, a spiritual warfare, okay? Some of you have been attacked in some sort of way on a spiritual level where you're now needing to shield yourself from what no longer resonates and move into your light, okay? So I do feel like as I'm looking at the sun, at the sun here the, and I'm looking at this here like a shadow, like a shadow on the sun. Like I feel like someone has placed 
a shadow, their shadow or darkness on your light. Okay, so it's almost like they have dimmed a part of your light. And I feel like you are stepping into this place of now um, being proud to move through that, to stand your ground as well, to bear it all. When I look at the death card here, if you can see around the horse, there are skeleton heads. Okay. And the X is reminding me of like hugs. Like I'm going to hug you. I'm going to love you, but I'm still going to, I'm still going to bear it all. I'm still going to speak my truth. It may not feel right to you, but I'm going to love you through setting my boundaries and stepping away from you. So this lets me know that you are going to be in a position of learning to love people from a distance and there's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like spirit is on your side here as you know, this, this is like you, I feel like you're mirroring this is your spirit. I feel like this is your spirit body. This is your physical body actually, you know, colliding and becoming one again because you have been feeling a sense of disconnect that has come up for you. Okay. This is all about energy and adventure and passion and action um, and being fearless. And I feel like this is an opportunity for you to be fearless and take the leap into something. Okay, whatever that is for you. So that's what's coming up for you, where you're going to put fear aside and really step into what feels right and in alignment with your spirit. Your advice for the month is the three of wands. Okay. So at the end of this, I feel like there, you know, your dreams can become, your dreams come true. There's a sense of you moving forward because you have been patiently waiting, but I also feel like you gain foresight in the midst of your connections or whatever it is, it is that you're releasing, the Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles here, because I, I do feel like people have been trying to get away with things, okay? Or you have been trying to escape what you really feel, and you can't anymore, King of Pentacles, okay? I feel like you just, you can't. I feel like now... This is this King of Pentacles energy. I, I definitely feel like it's I feel like something that you have been waiting for, anticipating a level, a level of growth, a level of understanding, or even for some of you, a new mate, someone who understands you coming into your life. Because I feel like there has been a lot of sneaky, conniving energy that has been around you, and it's time for you to move past that and step into your king, queen energy here of you building yourself up again. Growth. A growth, I feel, is very, very important for you. But again, it's like you are taking a stand. The seven of wands, too, um, I, his feet is very prominent in that. So as I'm looking at him standing on the rock, okay, or his, his foot is up on the rock here. It... Or, um, and actually, I'm just noticing that there is a, um, it's not a ram. This is the goat. It could be a face of a goat, but it, a goat. But I, I do feel like there is protection. It almost look, looks like a ram. Um, there's protection around you. And again, grounding. Okay, grounding that base chakra energy is coming back and coming into play. Okay, but I, I feel like almost it's like you begin seeing through people's bullshit. And not only just seeing through it, because I do feel like you've already saw through it, but I feel like you are calling people out on it now. And that is what your advice is to call people out. Okay, like you're, you've, you've reached a point in your life where you can't do it anymore. You can't be this kind of gentle soul that doesn't say anything, that has no boundaries, that may seem weak, that only pops off when you're frustrated. But this is about, no, speaking your truth. If you don't like something, you're going to speak your truth. Okay? So I don't know if this is a side other people want to see Sagittarius, but at the end of the day, you have to go with what is true to you. Okay? So that is your advice. What is true to you? Things are moving forward. Things that you have been waiting for are coming into your life. You setting boundaries and calling people out on their BS. Okay. Your final outcome is the judgment. And I'm automatically feeling like someone trying to come back around. But let's see what's coming up from here. That's probably just a quick message that came up is someone trying to come back into your good graces. Get it back into your good graces, I should say. 
but this is extreme transformation. Wow, this card flew out of the deck. So that Nine of Pentacles came out reverse. And this is about you realizing your self-worth. Yes, and I love this energy for you. Okay, you're investing in you now. Okay, <laughs> you're investing in, investing in yourself. I love this. And the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, you're investing in yourself and nurturing you with the Queen of Pentacles energy. So I feel like if I'm, it's almost like someone tries to come back in. There's an independence, a level of independence, whether you have left behind someone, multiple people or situations. Now you are you are pouring into yourself. You're investing time and energy into you, taking care of you, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, all of the goods. Okay. <laughs> And someone is trying to come back in. So I feel like you have to make a judgment call on what is going to be best for you because the judgment card is here. And some of you may decide to, I don't know, let this person back in. Or um, some of you may have a, a weak moment. But I do feel like it is um, a back and forth for some of you because this is it feels like new energy that you're stepping into. And so it's only normal as a human to try to let those old ways, the outdate, outdated um, paradigms, way of living, those creep back in to sort of convince you of you can't move on from me, you shouldn't move on from me, I love you, all of these things. Uh-uh, no, no thanks, you're definitely moving on. But even if you're moving on with someone, it's going to look differently because there are going to be boundaries put into play. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card the ten of two and a ten of swords. Okay, so definitely there is going to be an ending to this element of feeling betrayed and feeling backstabbed and feeling pain and all of these deep wounds because you're going to be doing the work because you're going to be removing things, patterns, crises, uh, feelings of failure. All of that stuff is going to be, um, you're going to be working through during your shadow period. Okay, whatever, whoever's casting a shadow on your light letting that go, whoever's dimming your light, letting that go, all of the next negative self-talk, letting that go. It's all a process. It's not going to happen overnight, obviously, but if you allow yourself to surrender to the divine, these things can happen. So keep in mind here, Sagittarius, that from now up until about May 20th, because the full moon in Sagittarius is going to be on May 23rd, that this is going to be a time for you to surrender to the divine, focus on yourself, get grounded, um, set your boundaries, Okay, get outside, you know, surround yourself with good people. This is going to be important during this time frame, okay? So that is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if this resonates with you. And leave me a comment below. below. Let me know if you like this setup, if you like to see something more, something different. Let me know your feedback is appreciated. Uh, positive vibes only. We already know what it is because you will be blocked, I promise you, okay? Um, <clears throat> so share this with your family and your friends. Like this video, and I'll see you guys very soon. Enjoy the rest of your month. Many blessings to you, Sagittarius. Love and light. Peace.